I'm going to record this and get the slides ready, getting ready for the Cubist class. Hey, Adriana, I'm so sorry about Friday. <laughs> I didn't make it. I was out for barbecue. We're getting ready for the birthday class and I don't know how to share my screen. Yeah, it's today. <laughs> waiting for people in the waiting room. 80 people registered, but I don't think that all 80 will make it in. F of course, Adriana, let me share the link to you. Starting in two minutes. You don't need paint or anything. So here, let me just email it to you. There we go. I just emailed it to you. Perfect. Good thing you caught the Instagram live. <laughs> All right. Wow, the phone quality is a lot clearer than Zoom. It's loud. One minute. Hope everyone's having a beautiful Saturday. So uh, ever since COVID started, I've been doing these paint classes for my birthday and it's been awesome. So here we go, year two. It's two o'clock, I'm gonna let everybody in. Share audio. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Lots of new faces today. Definitely seems like cubism. Oh my gosh, Astrid, your hair looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. Definitely looks like cubism is popular. So hopefully. Um, everyone enjoys today and so many familiar faces. Vegeta, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> it's been Happy a while. Birthday. Thank it's you. Happened. It's on Monday, but I was like, I don't think people will want to paint on a Monday evening. Maybe, but <laughs> I thought that Saturday would be better. Uh, Hi, Michael. Happy. Hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. Is that uh, Mena? This is Reina. Her birthday's also on July 5th. No way. Love birthday up. buddies. <laughs> High five, yeah. That's all we can do now because we're on Zoom. <laughs> She's my niece. She loves art, so I signed her up. She really oh, sweet. yay. You're going to have fun. Welcome, everyone. I'm just going to open the waiting room in case I don't remember to bring people in, but welcome, everyone. Lots of new faces today, and I think as people are trickling in, uh, feel free to use the chat uh, function there, or you can even shout out where you're painting from today. I always love um, the power of Zoom and that we can connect through the internet. So I know I'm in the Toronto area. There's a lot of people in the GTA, but if you're from elsewhere, feel free to share uh, where you're coming from today, where you're painting or, sorry, we're not painting, drawing where you are joining us from. LA, Southampton, amazing. Bridge North, haven't heard of Bridge North, but I have heard of Peterborough. <laughs> That's the furthest I've gone. <laughs> Oh, let me turn on my transcripts here. There we go. Is it working? Oh, here we go. Enable auto transcription. There we go. That's for anyone that needs that. Hi, Anne. So nice to see everybody. 
And I always love to start uh, my classes uh, kind of feeling out the room, but uh, put into the chat what color you are feeling today. So I have a, a picnic later with a couple of my friends and I'm hoping for some more sunshine, but I'm feeling yellow today. I'm wondering what everyone else is feeling. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Yes, yes, hi. <laughs> I just got my second uh, vaccine today. Yay! What Yay. color are you feeling after your second vaccine? <laughs> I actually, I feel good. Like I feel, wow. I, I, I don't have any symptoms. Like I feel great. So that's amazing. Like, yeah, it is. Like, I haven't gotten my second one, but I, I've heard more side effects than not. So that's very hopeful, Jennifer. Yeah, and I did, I did uh, mix. I mixed like I the first one was Pfizer and the second one Moderna. Oh, okay. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah. I actually felt worse after after the first one. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, the first one was pretty brutal this for me. This is making up for it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Welcome, everyone. I see a lot of a lot of different colors. And the amazing thing about color is that it can mean different things to everyone, everyone, right? Mellow yellow, orange, pink, blue, green. Wow, no two people are feeling the same color today. <laughs> Lavender. Oh, there we go. We got some purple. Amazing. Uh, what time is it now? It's 2.04. Let's give another minute for people just to pop in and then we'll get started. Um, for anyone that's wondering what supplies you'll need, um, I'm going to be using pencil crayon and pastel. So I won't be painting today, but you can use whatever you have um, at home. Uh, we're going to sketch first with pencil and then when it comes to color, you can just fill it in with whatever you'd like. Oh, fine. Okay, so whatever you feel like using today, it is very open ended. So I know a lot of uh, my my paint um, students that come, we're used to a very step by step. Um, some paintings in the background here, we've done like Starry Night, we've done uh, The Scream by Edward Monk, and I'm I'm giving you every step of the way. But today, uh, I'm going to be guiding you, but we're going to take some risks today, okay? Uh, perfect. Has anyone not um, picked up a pen crayon or drawn or done any art um, for a long time? Anyone just jumping back into it today? <clears throat> Are we all pretty? Vegeta, really? <laughs> yeah. You're a pro, though. <laughs> Sometimes amazing. So this is an open class, so don't feel nervous. Let me just start uh, sharing my screen now. Here. And, oh, I don't have my intro slides, but let's see. Okay, let's get started. I am recording um, the class, but it should be on speaker view. If anyone's uncomfortable, you can uh, turn your camera off um, or just let me know as well, but it should just be focused on my face. So, <laughs> all right. Amazing. If you just joined us, you can uh, pop into the chat what color you're feeling today and where you're uh, joining us from. A um, little bit about myself for those that are joining us for the first time. My name is Jen Mickey. You can call me Mickey, like Mickey Mouse, not Nikki. Uh, I have been painting for about 10 years now, and I'm actually a, a teacher full time during the day. I'm off for the summer, but I, I teach grade four boys and um, when it comes to art, I did not go to school for it professionally or anything like that, but I'm really passionate about just spreading uh, the education and creativity. And I'm sure a lot of you are here today because you want to get creative, maybe a little therapeutic and mindfulness, a lot of mindfulness behind art as well. And so I hope that you enjoy today's class. And that's a little bit about me. And that's some classes we've done before, but today, um, for my birthday class. It's on Monday, but uh, I really wanted to try out Cubist portraits. So uh, last, I think two months ago, we actually did a por self-portrait class and it really resonated with me. These are just some of the, um, the products of the five weeks that we went through together, but I really wanted to focus on portraits today because I find, first of all, we are a huge critic of ourselves. I don't know about you guys, but I think we can all find a flaw that we do not love about ourselves. But today, hopefully you have a photo uh, of yourself there. 
or a photo of someone you love maybe that you can um, draw along and sketch. But uh, I think that it's really important for us to find that self-love before we, we share that with others. Um, and cubism has been a really fun uh, prompt that I've been using in our uh, sketch classes and uh, everyone's really enjoyed it. So I was like, let's put them together. For those that don't know what cubism is, it's an art movement that made its debut back in the 1900s and Pablo Picasso here, along with George Brock, which I did not know. I, I actually thought it was just Picasso, but the style is characterized by fragmented subject matter. So just imagine um, this face here, lots of geometric shapes, sharp edges and lines in such a way that can be viewed from multiple angles simultaneously. So this style is really um, what coined abstract art. And so today, if you're a beginner, this is the perfect class for you to uh, jump into art with because there is no getting it wrong today, okay? So just have fun with the different um, shapes that we're gonna play around with. And uh, I wanted to kind of open up with today as I reflected on my birthday and another year of life, I also thought about taking risks. So put a Y into the chat if you are uh, not a risk taker or if you do not like to take risks, put a yes into the chat that's here. Anyone that uh, does not like taking risks and getting out of their comfort zone. <laughs> we have one, one big yes, amazing. And it's funny because you guys are all here. Let me just mute, make sure we mute, there we go. Perfect. Calculated risks. I like that. So uh, I would say I'm, I'm pretty much, I like, to take, I, I would say I like taking risks, but I'm with my partner who doesn't like to take risks as much. <laughs> he said, Hey, um, but these are just some quotes that resonated with me because today's class is a bit more open-ended. I want us to kind of prime our minds just to be okay with taking risks. And when I, I teach my, my students, they're nine years old. And the funny thing is children, um, and back when we were kids, we were a lot more comfortable taking risks than we are now. Um, but I think it's really important to just be okay with failing and making mistakes. With art, I find that you can always problem solve and fix it if it looks like a weird looking eye. You can just either own it, embrace it, or just erase it, fix it up a little bit, right? So art is very forgiving. Um, at least when you uh, take my classes. Uh, if you always make the right decision, the safe decision, the one most people make, you will be the same as everyone else. So that is um, a quote there that I really resonated with. Artists have no choice but to express their lives. They have only and that not, and that not always a choice of process. This process does not change the essential content of their work in art, which can only be their life very deep, very existential. But what I take from this is that um, we just got to own the process itself. So just have fun throughout the process. Don't think too much about how perfect it has to look like at the end of the class. Um, we've done many classes where I think many people actually recreate that uh, piece and, and just create a, a better version of it after. So if there's something you can take from today, just have fun um, taking those risks. And uh, we're gonna watch a short two minute video here um, that uh, kind of primes us as artists. I didn't wanna to focus too much on cubism, but I really no, hope that we can take away a bit of um, inspiration. If you play it safe, you will be forgotten. That's it. <laughs> and in what are you saying? I think of huge risk with being an artist is you're always faced with um, doubts, right? Whether it's self-doubts or doubts from all around you. I think you have to be a really strong person on the inside to be able to present your own work. Because, I mean, there is the risk of people hating it. And you just have to have a tough skin, I think. You kind of have to get over that fear of the risk of it and just do it. the things that you have to portray, you have to dig deep inside you to be able to do that. It can be scary, but it's always worth the risk because better art comes out of being vulnerable and telling a story the best that you can tell it. 
oftentimes it can feel very personal, especially my work deals with you know, my experience, my family, like how it's my perspective to the world. So it can feel a little daunting, a little scary sometimes putting your work out there. I thrive on stress. <laughs> I, I work really well with deadlines, so I love that like stress of hitting that deadline. So I think risk to me is um, a motivating force. And I love it when like I'm trying some new technique and I'm just not quite sure what that image is going to look like. And you won't know until all the process is done and then you lift up the paper and see what happens. I love that risk. I embrace that that risk within my own work. I embrace the mistakes. I embrace like when things just doesn't go quite right. Yeah, I'm going to take the tea at 1.30. But when it doesn't go quite right, it allows you to kind of try something new that you might not otherwise expect. We won't watch the whole thing, but I loved that these different artists, whether they are musicians, dancers, painters, they just talk about how um, rewarding it is to take risks. So I encourage you to take some risks today with me as we jump into these portraits. And so I wanted to give an example just in case no one's ever um, tried cubism art before. So this was one of the prompts. Some of you might recognize it from our past classes, but these were the portraits I put up and I said, draw a cubist version of this. And so this was my version here. This is my sketchbook. But as you can see, this was a cubism um, art piece version of, it was like fish in the sea. So you can see just very uh, geometric shapes, sharp lines, and same with the faces here. These are very, I would say, closer to the realistic side, but I'm going to show you a bunch of examples just to kind of get you started, and then we'll jump right in. Um, you may not finish, but I, I hope that I can get us all started and um, just on the same page to begin the art project today. And this is going to be our warm up. So before this, actually, I'll show you guys some different um, versions of self portraits, uh, cubist self portraits. So you can see here, these uh, show a bit more uh, realistic features. You can see the eyes aren't sharp um, eyes over here, the lips, the nose. So you can play around with the shapes around it but then the main features that you want to highlight, you can just draw a realistic version of it. And then you have something like this where it's all fully abstract. You can't really recognize who it is, but maybe that's where the art will take you today. Uh, even with this here, you have the eyes, very interesting um, uh, perspectives of cubism. And really our goal when it comes to the portraits today is using only lines and geometric shapes to create your portrait, unless you want to put in the eyes. Obviously, uh, I'm setting the goal, but this is your art at the end of the day. Uh, so take it where you'd like to take it. And so to warm up back to this, we are going to create a continuous line drawing of our faces. So let me share my page now. Are there any questions before we start? I'm just going to share my camera here blank page. Again, I'm using pastels and pencil crayons today, but feel free to get messy with some paint if you would like. I was at the park and I sketched my first tree with pens the other day. <laughs> All right, so we'll start with a, this is, I'm going to use this, this is like the only picture I have of myself that is tangible right now. So that's going to be my portrait. You can uh, have it on your phone there if you'd like, but we're just going to start with a continuous line drawing of your face. So what that means is you're going to draw your face or a face just to warm up. And you the goal is to not lift your, your hand. So um, I did a little bit of uh, studying on lines and circles, and it's actually uh, proven that uh, drawing lines and painting lines and circles are extra therapeutic because of that uh, continuous feeling. So you might start with your nose and then your eyes. Let's go a little closer there. But the idea here is to, first of all, be okay with your face, not maybe quite looking like your face. 
right? Just have some fun. But the goal here, do not lift your hand. And then we can go around and share a couple of these. I think my favorite part about classes is definitely the sharing part. <coughs> Has anyone here actually ever painted um, or drawn their own self-portrait before? I think Michael, oh, you're here. I think Michael, I've seen your self-portrait. Okay, I totally already lifted my hand. Give it a go. Maybe you want to try another one of just a regular face. But as you can see already, we're just warming up our brains and our, I would say our hearts to be okay with weird looking self portraits. And that's what abstract art can be for you. And I always remind everybody as we paint, draw, to remember to breathe. I tend to catch my breath, uh, catch my breath, hold my breath a lot. And I think as much as it is a reminder for everyone, it is also a reminder for myself. Breathing is so important. All right. That's my continuous line drawing here. We don't have to spend too much time. Again, this is our just our warm up. But would anyone like to share? Give them maybe another minute, and uh, you can hold up your line drawing. Laugh a little bit if it's a bit silly. Let's see here. Oh, amazing! Lots of. Let's see, Patricia. Stop share sound. Wow, these are amazing. Astrid, let's see. Are these really continuous lines? <laughs> these are great. My love, Adriana. Love it. I was on Instagram Live and Adriana was like, it's right now, it's today. <laughs> Can I still join? <laughs> Somehow I thought it was tomorrow. I was like, it's oh. usually Sundays, <laughs> I know. I do that all the time. <laughs> Let's see here, Margaret. Amazing. Love it. And some of us, some of these might resemble you, some of them might not, but that's that's supposed to be the fun in it. Nice. Sweeta there. So many people joined. Okay. I think with the number of people here today, I won't be able to spotlight everyone, but feel free to do a little gallery walk as well. You can kind of go to the next page and take a look. Um, but I think we're nice and primed for our cubist self-portrait. Okay. And like I said, again, it's very open-ended. I'm going to um, create mine along the way, just so you have a guide, but uh, please feel free to do uh, your own thing here. It's in the fanny pack there. Okay. All right. Amazing. Okay. So again, I'm going to show us a couple of examples that you can kind of use as a reference. Maybe you can make a mental note and be and tell yourself, I really like uh, the way that, um, for example, let's go back. I really like the way that with this self-portrait, it's fragmented and there's um, the face is made up of many different shapes, right? Whereas this one in the middle here, I would say if you want to go more along with the actual oh, of your face. Can I have one of those? Um, I have one of those. There we go. Just 
make sure you're muted if you have some background um, noise. Uh, you can also go along with something like that in the middle. Again, the first one is similar to the third one here, but just to give you some ideas, because the, the goal of it is to do your own. I don't want everyone to create one so similar to how I'm doing mine, but I want you to take these as ideas for yourself because uh, we're all going to take risks here, like we mentioned earlier. Um, there's this portrait here, and I actually noticed the beaker in the back, and I wonder if this represents maybe something about uh, this self-portrait and the person here. And then we have the curly hair, right? So just some ideas here, hopefully that uh, can inspire yours. But our first step uh, is actually going to create the face base. So you're going to use two to three shapes to compile just your head first, right? So just so that you have something to work with. That's the only step that I'm going to share my screen uh, here. I mean the slide. So with mine here, I'm just mm. going to focus on myself <laughs> today. So um, I'm going to use two to three shapes to create my head. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to take a risk here. I'm not going to I can see a, an oval. But I'm going to start with, let's start with a triangle. And I really liked one of those portraits there where the eyes were within a bunch of different shapes. And actually, while everyone does this, I did have one more slide I wanted to share. And this is the meaning <coughs> of different shapes. So let me stop the sound for a sec. Uh, different shapes have different emotional responses. And when you're designing your character, you can take this into consideration. So you have the circle, the square, and the triangle. This is just uh, some, um, some deeper meaning behind shapes. But with circles and curves, it's commonly used for cute and friendly and bubbly characters, right? So round. And when it comes to square shapes, it's usually representing tough. Um, I think that Mickey had some uh, challenge, but I'm pretty sure she will come back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I was definitely freaking out there, but I'm going to be calm right now. <laughs> We're back. Okay. Where was I? I was talking about my triangle and being a villain. Okay. Pretend I never left. <laughs> All right. My internet connection should be stable now. Okay. So, right now, I hope everyone has a couple of shapes there for their face can even be a diamond. It can even be like a non-geometric shape. Maybe it's, maybe it's uh, a bean shape. And then I'll do a square down here. So it doesn't have to resemble um, anything realistic again, but we're gonna have fun with making it look like our faces. Okay, let's do that. 
And obviously with your portrait, I'd like for everyone now, right beside here, uh, I would like for you to write down your favorite feature. So what is your favorite feature about yourself? Your favorite face feature? And I would say for me, I really like my eyebrows. Eyebrows. Again, I, I remember when we did the self-portrait series, we can go on and on about the things we don't like. Maybe not everybody, but I know um, it's easy to, to spot things you don't like. But today we'd like to highlight things that you love about yourself. Um, favorite feature. And then with this feature of yours, we can start with our eyes. But I want you to just keep in mind what your favorite feature is. And maybe you can um, find a way to highlight it in your portrait today. We can enlarge it. So maybe you love your eyes. And the thing with portraits and abstract art is that it does not have to look like your face already. Clearly, this does not look like my face, but um, we can kind of highlight those features that you love about yourself. So I'm gonna start with my eyes here. And again, with the eyes, play around. I'm gonna try to only use sharp lines. So I'm gonna start with my eye. I find that a lot of the times when we come together, um, more than me guiding everybody in the class, I think it's just the fact that we can sit and get creative and put this time aside for ourselves to do a little bit of mindful art. Yes, I will send out the recording, absolutely. Is it still recording? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna start with one of my eyes here. And I really like my eyebrows, right? So I'm gonna bring in some color. If you'd like to use some color, bring in some color. I had a friend that was throwing out all of his old art supplies and I was the go-to person. How lucky am I? <laughs> okay can start to bring in some color there if you'd like. I'm feeling yellow today. So maybe I'll bring in some yellow. Does anyone wanna share what their favorite features are? Feel free to put into the chat. You can even um, unmute yourself if you'd like. i make my eyebrows. I like my eyes and I like like my hair. <laughs> oh yeah, your hair is amazing, Jennifer. <laughs> I really like your I smile. Use my smile. Love it, Linda. And, and my gray hair. Love it. I actually I, I actually I love gray hair. I don't know. I have a, a coworker as well and and she hates it. She's always dying it, but I'm gonna be one of those that definitely owns it. <laughs> I've been getting like white hair since I was in my twenties. So like I'm in my forties now. So I just, I'm always doing the roots and mm. I just, I'm not ready to go all white. I don't think, <laughs> all, I don't think it's actually all white, but it, there's certain parts that are mm. just keep reoccurring like every two weeks. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be less with, with COVID being uh, <laughs> over soon. Hopefully <laughs> I love my gray hair too. Love it, Helen. My smile and my neck. Oh, I actually, I really like my neck too. It's a great, it's a great uh, reminder. I'm gonna bring in my neck here. I like my um, collarbones as well. I love collarbones in general. So again, you might be feeling, I don't know if anyone's feeling really uh, lost but let me know if you need any guidance because we all have different faces, different features we want to highlight, but I'm here if you would like some advice. Let's play. I think this is like a very relaxing style, you know, like I feel like I can be very free with this. 
Yes. But there doesn't seem like a lot of rules, which is good. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's the purpose. Perfect. Mm. You can definitely also, uh, I'm part-time DJ when I do these classes as well. If you'd like a song that you'd like to hear that um, makes you feel good, that you think that you, that you think other people would enjoy I got one well. for you. I got one for you. I can see clearly now. Ooh. That one. <laughs> I like that one so much. I love that song too. <laughs> uh, is it by Jimmy Cliff? Yeah. Johnny Nash. Johnny Nash, yeah. This is very, this resonates with self-portraits. Thank God it didn't rain today on my picnic. (laughs) (laughs) If you don't want it to be completely abstract, you can pick certain features about yourself that well, that when you look at it, you'd be like, that's, that's my face, right? So I don't know about mine, but maybe I'll do my straight hair. Maybe you have a, your curly hair, you can bring it in there. So with that, you don't have to necessarily have just straight lines, right? Am I sharing sound? I was just listening to the song myself. There we go. Restart. Okay. <laughs> I was listening to half the song. Half the song went by. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. After your eyes, maybe you can want to bring, bring in the lips. I can't wait to see what these end up looking like. And feel free to add color in there too. With an activity like this, you can really just go with it like you don't have to ask yourself oh like what color is my face necessarily again if you want to do the realistic approach go for it but you can even just for me I'm just what color am I feeling right now let me just jump in scary. (laughs) Mickey. Yes. Mickey, is this the final copy? Because I see you use color now. Yes, I'm just jumping in with color too. Oh, okay. I'm not going to do, I'm not, this is, this is going to be the copy. (laughs) Was that you, Penelope? No, Jody. Oh, Jody. Yes. I'm adding in color, exactly. I'm just gonna go for it. You can keep drawing if you'd like. I'd like to add in some color just to... for a little inspiration there and guide me. But I brought in my neck. Maybe I'll bring in my lips now. And with my lips, I've always thought that I had smaller lips. So I'm gonna keep it small. A little smile in there. And I know with noses, this is the side version of the nose, but I'll give a little tip here um, for how I like to draw noses. Because noses can be tricky. This is a simple one, but um, I kind of like to do, this is a front version, but you can start with two brackets here. And then um, a little wide V in the middle. And then this, so if you look at it, there's the two brackets on the side and then I have the wide V in the middle. It's just a very, very basic nose. And you can thin or thick depending on your shape. Even with this here, maybe a little rounder depending on your shape. But this gives you a little skeleton. Because noses can be tricky. 
I have a floating nose there now, but no problem. This is an automatic playlist. Love it. I actually really love. a great song. That's my eraser. I do not have curly hair. I actually wish I had curly hair. I love curly hair, but I will own my straight. <laughs> I was Frizzy. born with straight hair. I really? Had straight hair. I had straight hair till I was about three, like two or three. All my sisters and I, our hair was very straight. And no then way. Loose curl and then it went like really far. Wow. That's maybe, really interesting. Maybe in your latter life, you'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring in my straight hair there. I think I heard, I, I don't know whose voice it was earlier, but they said, this looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna share, I'm gonna spotlight Vicho because it's always a treat to have you, but it's because you can, we can see your live drawing. Let me just spotlight it. Vicho does his digital art here. Who are you drawing there, Vicho? I don't remember his name. Oh, but it's a Cubist version. I love it. Russell Brand, is that his name? Russell Brand? Uh, yeah, I, think, I think it's Russell Brand. Love it. I was yes, like, that's it's Russell Brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know his name. I love the cubist uh, dove at the top there. Yes. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> the painting looks horrible, though. The colors. <laughs> it definitely makes him look a little evil with the purple and green. <laughs> 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 Colors, the colors you choose to definitely important to portray. Let me pull up actually if I have the meaning of the colors from our portrait class. I know when we did the self-portrait series, we were all just talking about how we don't really take in our faces day to day. Like maybe you look in the mirror and things like that. But when, when you slow down to draw a self-portrait, you're really trying to analyze like your features and um, again, what you love, what you don't like, and it's okay. Let's see the colors. I don't know, like I feel like as a makeup artist, I've just, I've seen many faces, I've worked on many faces, and there's always, I find something, something mm. to, to admire or behold or to, yes. value. you know, I, I don't know, I just, um, I guess it all, it really is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes other people see it in you that you, and you don't see it in yourself a lot of times. Here we go, let me share uh, some color meanings if you'd like. You can keep sketching if you're still sketching, but I love learning about the meaning of things. Um, reds, excitement, passion, danger, blues, 
trust, reliability, coolness, maybe some of these words that resonate with you, you can use in your self-portrait today. Yellows, warmth, cheer, happiness. Um, oranges, playfulness, warmth, vibrance. Greens, nature, freshness, growth. Purple, royalty, spirituality, dignity. Pastels, softness, nurture. So you can use pastel tones today. Whites, pure, clean, youthful. Black, mystery, sophisticated, elegant. There's golds and silvers. So I'll leave this up for a minute if you'd like to um, take in and use any of these meanings in your portrait today. I'll share back here. Just floating eyebrows. I actually like, usually don't use black and dark colors, but after reading that black means mysterious and sophisticated i'm feeling sophisticated this year <laughs> on my birthday i will own that maybe i'll add in a little black in there i always really lean towards bright colors this does not look like black i think what i've always loved about art and it can be an open-ended task, but I find with art, it's always in your hands uh, and you can make anything you want of it. Whether it's not the greatest piece, but you, I'm sure that after creating something today, you'll take something from the process with you in your next piece. We'll do a little version of Shane back here. Cubism is so much fun. There's so much you can do with it. And it can even, doesn't have to be people. People are, I find definitely people for me, a lot more challenging. I stick to trees and clouds usually. <laughs> but with cubism, I find it's approachable when it comes to art.
I will use some page this. I think I have all my features now. Eyes, nose, mouth. You know, I find like certain features are, um, well, like they're identifiable, but they're like trademarks. Mm. So I remember when I lived in Ottawa and like, I, I've always had pretty big hair, except if it's been really cut short. But there was this guy that would say to my sisters, he's like, I love your sister's hair. It's like exploding <laughs> hair. It's like, <laughs> That's amazing. Like I, I, like I didn't take it as an insult. Like he, he, he was just describing it, you know? Right. Yeah him it was like an explosion you know and you're right it becomes like a, a distinctive feature <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah because people are like oh your hair it's your hair like i know you're there i love it and i think I don't, this is in movies, we see this a lot too, but there are people that have distinct like accessories. Like maybe you have like glasses or like yeah. uh, red nail polish. I don't know. I'm just a red lipstick or something, but maybe you can add some of those in. Yeah, it's like your signature. Yes, like your signature, signature items, your signature. Someone said they were joining today from the UK. What time is it over there now? I think, is it three hours behind? Is it five o'clock? It's yeah. almost eight in the evening. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I know when I usually do like the 8 p.m. classes, they're like, it's too late, I can't make it. So. <laughs> we're in our beds by then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy here today, Sandy? I think one thing that um, I've been really thankful for through the, the pandemic as well is that you realize that wherever we are, whether it's with painting or art, that we're all we're all kind of going through the same thing together. That's what I really it's, it's kind of the silver lining to a very uh, tragic event. But it's just crazy how the whole world we were going through this this thing together because in living in Canada here, um, watching the news, we see things happening in different parts of the world that we all we can't always relate to as much. But um, I loved that it was something that we all went through together, and it's crazy. Yeah, I think the pandemic's brought us closer together. Like it's caused everybody to think more globally. Like. Mm -hmm. it brought any issues or problems or situations going on in different parts of the world, it's been more attention brought to it. The it's true. Things we maybe never thought about before, now we're, we're having conversations about it. Mm -hmm. Good in a way, you know? My hair was long, that is what I would here. I missed a 5.30 a.m. class. Ah. Hopefully that there's another one there. We'll keep... We'll keep um, working at it for another maybe 10 minutes or so and I'd love for us to go around and share again 
Let me know if you need any suggestions there. This was a very open-ended uh, workshop today. Um, and I hope that it's brought you some joy and some peace to your Saturday, whether you're about to head to bed <laughs> or starting your day. Adding color definitely changes it. Let's go back. I want to start, I want to start the share as early as possible so that we can hopefully get in and spotlight everyone that's comfortable sharing. Well, adding the blue made it look very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do green. With your eyes and and whether you want to draw maybe a reflection maybe some something in the eyes a lot of meaning behind eyes that you can work with when it comes to self-portraits I think what I'll do with my hair, I'll make it rainbow. There's also a lot you can do with the background. I'm gonna kind of finish up here and maybe just shade in the back. Don't know. 
background, I'm also going to bring in some lines. It could be a solid color there, but you can um, definitely bring in some cubism to the background as well. Maybe you are, your portrait is maybe out in nature with some forests, trees. Remember to breathe. You have some water there. Hydrate yourself. Art is a workout in itself, friends. It's a mental workout <laughs> and an arm workout. <laughs> I chose some dull colors for the background. One because uh, I wanted my my portrait to stand out a bit more, but um, to go a bit deeper, I find that in moments of uh, dullness or even not not as far as sadness, but on gray days. I find that I have to be my own sunshine and I find I've definitely uh, received joy from spreading sunshine in a dull place and so that's kind of a bit of meaning behind my color choices in my portrait here. Now imagine if you did this 
with your opposite hand did a self portrait of your opposite hand how would it come out that would be really interesting. That's true. Linda, that'd be a great experiment. <laughs> I'm going to try now with my left hand. I know I know using your opposite hand definitely turns on a different part of the brain. And you're forced to slow down already. I have not been monitoring the chat here. Oh. Emotional workout today. Where can I put glasses? I already did the face. That was 10 minutes ago. You, Sorry, Sandy. How would you do seven different portraits doing the opposite hand? Uh, definitely take taking my time with that one. <laughs> Sandy, if you want to put glasses on, you know what? I, I usually wear glasses too, but with glasses... You can put it right over. So for me, let me just kind of sketch out. You want it to be around the eyes. It can even just be the top layer. So if I were to put glasses over this, my glasses are pink, but I'll do it. I did my glasses like this. But you... Oh, nice. Yeah, that looks great, Linda. I think with my with your glasses, you can even just put them right over, framing the eyes. I already went over a little bit. When I showed, I know my my other self portrait. When I showed my students, they're like, "Where are your glasses, Miss Lamb? It doesn't look like you." <laughs> Okay, a couple more minutes. I did have a couple of questions uh, from a couple of people and I thought that it'd be easier just to show you, but I know that uh, everyone registered for the class, but there were uh, people asking about um, how to pay if you wanted to. So I didn't think it was that confusing, but let me share in case you want to go back. Thank you to those that did. Um, donate's not the word because it's it's not for charity or anything like that, but for, for anyone that did give a gift, uh, really appreciated my, my, uh, for my birthday class here. Um, I hope to continue uh, with the monthly free classes and so Happy whatever, birthday. thank you so much. Whatever, whatever uh, you give to support is uh, definitely means a lot. Um, but really, my goal isn't uh, for the money. It is really just to share this experience and, and share it with everyone here. So I know for those that did ask, if you go into register, uh, there's the general admission, which everyone did here today. But for donations, you can put in $2. Oh, that's a lot. So put in whatever there, and then that will you don't have to do this general admission. So this is still open if you'd like to um, donate anything in here. And for those that ask, I'll put it in the chat there. Thank you again for anyone that gave very generously. And this is what my cubist portrait is looking like. Yes, and 
I'm gonna sign off here. Today is July 3rd. Give a couple minutes. I know um, that for those that just take it at your own pace, no need to rush, but I do wanna start the sharing so that we can have a chance in case most people do wanna share what they've been able to create today. I can't, I can see everyone's faces. I have my double screen here and I just love really the company um, that everyone has shared your presence, your your energy for the past hour and, and a bit. So thank you so much. I get a chance to, to see Rosetta McLean Gardens. Did you in there yet? No, I didn't. <laughs> you will, you will, you will. It is quite beautiful. It's on my list though, Jennifer. It's like in August or September, the month butterflies come. Oh yeah? But, yeah, there's a lovely rose garden there and there's there's all kinds of flowers and trees and very, you know, it's really something to behold. It's, it's I think a, that's it's a sanctuary. It's a sanctuary. That's there. definitely a um, an option for uh, the meeting in person. Yes. I, I put it on the Facebook group. This is more for anyone in the area, but I'd love to do just a, a park hangout. We can bring our, our supplies, our sketch supplies, and we can just all um, socially distanced if you're not comfortable, but just sit and kind of get creative together outside, bring some snacks. Where are you located? I am in, uh, I'm in Scarborough, Toronto. So outside of Toronto, but uh, yes, I'm in Scarborough. I know a lot of people in Toronto um, and there's many people that are not in Canada at all. So that's more of an invite for anyone in the area, but um, let me go around for anyone that would like to share. And then we can uh, take a group photo at the end, a group screenshot actually. You can hold up what you've done today beside your face, and then we can take a screenshot. But feel free to. Oh, Shelly, my goodness. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh, wow. Feel free to unmute yourself, share some, show some love. That's that looks awesome. Shelley. Wow, you did a really good job. That's really good. That's a tough one to follow, Shelly. <laughs> Have you done Ooh, that was that was just a, a cubist uh, face it wasn't a self-portrait so <laughs> wow <laughs> anyway it was fun to do love it would anyone else like to share oh i see Here's michael mine. wow michael I think it's too realistic. Oh, wow. um, That's really nice. michael is an amazing oh. artist friends wow. Wow. oh Thank my you. gosh Michael, if you want to share, you can even share your, your Facebook group, I, the painting in the back there. Michael's amazing with landscapes. Wow. Love it. That looks so good, Michael. Thank you. My goodness. Let's see here. Vegeta from New York. Oh, oh I really like nice. the hair. The hair. You're yeah. definitely focusing Vegeta, on the hair, right? Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Uh, let's see, Margaret. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I love the oh, hair. Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> I don't like that. Very good. Thank you. Everything. You really played around with that, like the lips coming to the chin and like mm -hmm. that. And my green neck. Yes. <laughs> yes I like my green neck. <laughs> Thank you. I love this. Let's see here. Is that Vanya? Oh, you did many wow. versions. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You really experimented here. Yeah, you did. You really, uh, yeah, you tried lots of different things. Very mm. good. Good job, Lovely. Vanya. Let's see Roberta there. Roberta. Oh, that my goodness. Wow. Watercolor? Gosh. Watercolor. That's really wow. nice. That's nice. Oh. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. Lovely. Very interesting. Holy smokes, I did not expect impression. such amazing stuff. The water wow. is really weird. something. It really changed. Lovely. Yeah, the that makes me want to do a watercolor so version soft. of it. Yeah. So soft, like a beautiful country. hard lines, but soft in the middle. Mm. Right. <laughs> Very cool. I love, love the crease. Yeah. <laughs> I like the eye. Mm. 
We'll go over it. The really cute shapes. Mm. Okay, not done. Let's see here, Adriana. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't finish yet, but yeah. working. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Love <laughs> it. The earrings and the and eyes. Everything. Yeah, very vibrant. Wonderful. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you, guys. Yes. See very here, good. Amena. Awesome. Amena. Oh, wow. My birthday she, buddy. Oh, yeah. Nice and bright. And um, but this is not mine. Okay. Do you want to show yours? yours? This, is not, this is me. I'm not, I'm, I'm not also <laughs> licking my dad now. Oh, wow. You're, oh, you're, you're, you're already working on another one. <laughs> <laughs> very vicious. Okay. Very good. <laughs> wow. Beautiful work and You're happy early birthday. <laughs> Let's go to Suman, our other birthday buddy. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Yeah. Nice. Got some good shapes in there and nice. Nice. and oh, oh, man, yours is beautiful. Oh, wow, Suman! And I put my my symbol. This is Om symbol for Om. I like the sun and the moon. <laughs> wow! Very but I uh, the colors are not as dark. As I did. I used crayons, so That's these okay. are so nice. Yeah. Again, this can just be a template for wow. your next painting. Right. Oh, wow. I think it will come out better with darker paints. This this yeah. would the cubist paintings and uh oh, look so God. good. It's just so vibrant mm. and so much you can do. Yeah. Amazing wow. job. Very good. Let's see here. We'll go, we'll go Jennifer, then Helen, and then Patricia. Mm. Well, this is when my, my students they all have their hands up, and I'm like, okay, oh, you can rest your hands. I'm not really done. I'll, I'll let you Woo! know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I, spent, I spent a lot of time on the hair. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> that's very gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> that is so Beautiful. cool, though. Cool. <laughs> I love the texture in the hair, too. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Go over yeah, to Helen. Dear. Let's see there, Helen. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, I see the glasses. Long. Oh, oh my glasses goodness. on top. Wow. On the top of your head. A little bit more to your right, maybe. Well, they, um, oh. these triangles, that those are my eyes because, okay. because my, um, it's, it's obviously, it looks nothing like me, but it's taken. <laughs> it looks I've, a lot I've, like you. I'm kidding. <laughs> I've, I've right. taken, um, you know, as aspects, these, these I've, I've taken the sort of lines and things mm -hmm. of my oh, face i do see those uh, the, the structure the, the resemblance yes. yeah so and because my glasses i've got one long side to die and one short sighted one so they make my wow. eyes look um different so right that's why one's bigger than the other Very good. so Beautiful. that was uh that was basically, and then I just I just stuck the different features all over. I mean, it looks very amateurish, but um, no, I've had great nothing. fun doing it. It's very it. interesting, though, like what you've done. Like and I love your hair. Yeah. Well, it's uh, I was going to do my grey hair because I like it, but um, <laughs> for uh, for years I was known for having um, sort of red highlights in my hair, oh, so that's mm. when I've done the red. And, and the green is my favorite color, so love it. it. There's, and I thought, you know, if I've got more time, I've got a greyhound, and he could sort of be in yes. the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could. That's a great idea. You and that's, put in. that's the cool thing about art, too, uh, Helen. Like, if you didn't t tell us the meaning behind what this meant, right. but it's totally a self portrait after you, you explain, like, what the, the color of the hair means and, like, Ooh. the different size of the eyes. So it's mm -hmm. really beautiful. Okay, well, um, I think I might sort of do it again with some with some curves, but I was, I was trying to keep to the brief of straight lines. Yeah, you can keep yeah. going. You can you can take this. Well this can be a continuous project. Yes. Uh, let's see here, Vicho. How are we doing with our friend over there? Ooh. Oh wow! <gasps> oh, my oh, you changed up the <gasps> colors. Wow! Yeah. Great. Like the really green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's great. Oh, using the blue and purple really makes it gives it a yes. different mood, eh? Mm -hmm. Thing, eh? Yeah, and then it's got the bright. Background. And it looks like a robotic bird at the top. A robotic. I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, Russell Brand would love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think that, he would. You <laughs> Tag him in it. 
Instagram. <laughs> Honestly, this Facebook page or something. Yeah, yeah. Instagram. Do it on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> I, I, think think I it. saw, was it Covey? Did you want to share? Or Covey? There we go. That looks great. Can turn on the camera. I saw you share earlier. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's wow. Nice. That's beautiful. And it looks so real, yet so they abstract. Do. They do. They do. It's true. Especially those eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I, know. Know. I use watercolor with it. Mm. Yeah, it's challenging to do the watercolor. So beautiful. It's really Thank warm. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Did I miss? Oh, Linda. Linda. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, that's fun. I love. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at the mouth. Love the stroke. Yeah, the mouth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> love I love how you split the face yeah. up. Very interesting. Yeah. I love the strokes, the the crayon, the crayon marks. It's so nice. I love it. Yeah, I love doing it. Ah, well yeah. done, Linda. <laughs> okay, thank you. How are you doing, yeah, Astrid? Okay. Gonna share? Oh, oh my goodness. Nice. Cool. Very cool. Oh my goodness. Watercolor oh, as well. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Amazing. Did I miss anyone else that would like to share before we take a, a group photo together? Oh, Patricia, totally skipped oh, over you. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. Oh yeah. Very, th those are, you did, you did really well. Wow, like, Patricia. Colors, like, strong colors and <laughs> yeah. The skin tone is just amazing. Tone, yeah, what is, did you use? A flesh. <laughs> did you use paint or? Um, I used um, markers. Oh, wow. Oh, markers. You did a lot with markers. Oh my goodness. I have markers that are are pretty good ones that have both a thin and a brush one on ah. the other end. So uh can we see that again? <laughs> can you see it a little closer, Patricia? Let's see. With yeah. marker. Wow. Wow, I can't believe you do that with markers. That looks so I quite finished because I was just finishing wow uh, here. But anyway, uh it's so beautiful the different takes on mm -hmm. cubism mm -hmm. today. Oh. I'm almost done with my dad's. Your dad's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's why don't we take a group photo for those that would like to join? We can hold up our portraits beside our faces. And if you'd like to take a picture, send it to me. When I finish it. They're so amazing. <laughs> this especially because we spent five we spent five five weeks in the last class with our self-portraits, but this was done in about an hour so everyone should be so proud of themselves okay <laughs> i think i made myself like a clown <laughs> <laughs> ready three two one all right i will send that out Ooh. along with the recording jody got you thank you so much everybody thank you for joining today thank you thank you happy birthday I'm definitely happy, happy after this class. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Happy birthday. Oh, I will actually send out uh, an email, but these are the upcoming classes so far. We do have a free sketch class coming up on July, I believe. Let me go to my link here. It's July 25th. Am I signed and up for that one? I think you are, Linda. Okay. Let me see here. I enjoy the app. This classes are a lot of fun and I'm going to plan another um, uh, artist unblock class that we have the different prompts uh, definitely um, and there's a blending and mixing colors 101 mm. I know that that was something a lot of people had asked for um, oh, yes. because we've been doing really tricky paintings but this will really help with um, just blending colors and mixing different colors okay. um, to help us with that that's on july 25th and then the day before saturday is the free sketch class so i'm going to send an email with this recording and okay. the registration links for those classes so um okay, look thank, out for that. thank you very much you have thank my you email much. yes i have okay. everyone's email here okay thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank care. Enjoy your birthday, Suman. 
Bye. Bye. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye. Have a beer picnic. <laughs> Thank you.